Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the Road Builder YouTube channel. Today we're doing another episode of Showcase Sundays. This one is a boat of some sorts. I don't know, I haven't played the game yet. I don't know if we can go in the boat or if there's more than one boat or anything like that. But I do know it's a showcase. It's got 677 visits, 24 favorites, and zero active players. If this is a dope showcase, let's try to run up those numbers, guys. The description says the Odessa. I'm gonna say Odessa, okay? If it's pronounced differently, I'm sorry. But the Odessa is the most detailed ship on Roblox. Hand modeled over the course of two years, it took at least 600 hours to complete, and on 23 6, 2021, was accepted into the Elite Builders on Roblox. I don't know what this is. But this might be a goal someday. I mean, right now I'm trash, but if I ever get good, this might be a goal. It sounds awesome. Definitely, though, uh, two years to two years for this build and 600 hours at least. So let's check it out. The Brig Odessa. Oh, no, they didn't get a game icon. That's tough. <laughs> that is tough, my guy. Make a little picture for that game icon. All right, so they said there's a lot of meshes and it'll take a little bit to load in. So I'll be back right when it's fully done. All right, guys, I want to say it's all loaded in. And the first thing I noticed is we're actually rocking back and forth within like the waves of the water, which is really cool. It does seem like it's the only ship. And it also seems like this guy from the last episode has followed me into the game again. <laughs> I hope this one doesn't fill up as much as last time because it's not as much space, it looks like. And it doesn't seem as if we can go underneath the ship. So it'll be a real quick walk around. And then, uh, and then I'll jump into a call with the owner of the game, the guy who made it and ask him thought process and all the kinds of stuff like that that some people may be interested in. So it looks pretty sick. We have a bunch of cannons, a lot of this rope work. Now, I wish Can Collide was on so we could climb up and kind of explore the different levels of the ship and, you know, stand up on the perches and stuff. I don't know exactly what they're called, but that'd be pretty sick. I definitely have a lot of questions. For example, are each of these nails a different part? Because they look like they are. And if that's the case, well, that alone probably took a good little bit of time. And I want to know what took the longest. I have a feeling it was these ropes. Like all this rope and cable, I bet that's what took the longest on this boat. And now, now I just got to ask him. So let's hop on into a call and see what's up. All right, guys, we are here with the creator. Look at him. How you doing, man? I'm doing well. How are you, man? I'm fantastic. Now that I'm on this beautiful boat in the middle of the ocean with no land anywhere in the foreseeable distance. So yeah, and um, you don't exactly have the crew to fire up the sails either. Yeah, well, we have nothing. In fact, we can't even jump up on these. Like I was trying to climb these, but you can't. Um, uh, so it's kind of tough. the the reference I followed when I was making this didn't really have um, a way to get up onto the platforms up there. All right. Um, so I just I rather just have it not be able to go up there than you know get up there and you're stuck and you're just it's weird you know it makes sense it makes sense that was actually a question uh that i asked how do you start so when you make a showcase or when you're thinking about making a showcase what's the first thing you do so on this ship i started with the hull which is um kind of below me you see on the outside of the ship um it was such a long time ago but i really just kind of get a baseline i do the hull i do the mast um and then i start kind of fleshing stuff out so then i did the deck here um the and then after the deck was done i did the cannons and then i did the uh the ropes and all that on the cannons and then i just started working on the props on the deck like you see the these things here where the, yeah. the ropes go in i'm sorry i don't really know the terminology it's all good dude i don't even... i just like i I honestly, I'm really tired right now. It's um, all good, my guy. So, yeah, I've, so I've made my prediction, okay? But I want to ask, out of everything on this boat, what took you the longest to complete? Like, if we broke it up into tasks, like making the, the shape of the boat, making the cannons, making the, the ropes, making the sails, whatever, what took the longest to complete? I'd say it would definitely be the rigging. The whole rigging of the ship took me so like, a couple... Like I want to say... And stuff? Uh, yeah, so if you okay. look here, you can kind of see, you can kind of see here, sorry. Um, you can kind of see, if you look real closely, you can see the knots on the, where the ropes meet. So um, it was just oh, fleshing dang, stuff yeah. out like that and all the details. Um, but the whole, the entirety of the rigging probably took me at least a month to do. Yeah, I said all these ropes and stuff would definitely be like the longest part of this build. 
It's a lot of curves. Um, I don't know if you've ever built with Blender, but it's a lot of Bezier curves. I, I may um, have uh, experienced a little. But yeah, it's it's mostly just tying the ropes around stuff. Like if you see here, um, where the there's a hook that the rope kind of yeah. ties into. It's mostly doing stuff like that, and especially on the cannons here, um, where I had the rope follow this path and then kind of twined up in the bottom. Did you do one cannon and then copy and paste it? Um, yes and no. A lot of the ropes had to be adjusted because they're different, um, like they're different length from the hull, I want to say. Yeah. So a lot of the ropes had to be adjusted, but the actual cannon, I just made one of them. Smart man. Uh, but the cannons took, I want to say two weeks, all of it to do. I love how the whole thing's actually rocking like in the water. Yeah, that took me a bit to figure out. Um, it definitely when I, is like a good element of life. Yeah, and when I was trying to figure it out, the first the first time I tried to do that, it was all like jittery and um, it just really didn't look good. But then I figured out how to do it. I welded everything together and had to rock back and forth. I fell out the boat. Well, I kind of jumped out the boat, but you know, is there a ladder to get back up? Yeah, yeah, there, there's a ladder on the side. Oh, it's the other side. I'm swimming slower than I've ever swam in my life. Like, <laughs> this is the slowest swim. All right. And then I don't, right yeah. Right. Oh, boom. I'm back up. Oh, I'm kind of thick. So let me just go inside. <laughs> All right. What, is there anything else that you would like to tell us about this build? Um, it's kind of hard to see, but if you look on the side of the ship, um, I formed planks to the side and that's not, that's not a texture. No, it's not a texture. It's it's modeled out. Wow. You just gained like plus 20 respect points in my head. I thought that yeah, was a texture. I, no, I've, I've so, modeled it out by hand. That's incredible. And um, dude, that I'm not going to lie. That took me so long. Oh, I had to man. restart it I just bet, a couple I times. I bet it would just be rage inducing. I thought oh, it was it a was. texture. Wow. No, there. so on this boat, there are no textures, um, no really anything other than the basic Roblox materials. So every kind of crevice, every uh, kind of area where you see it has wow. some depth to it, that's all modeled out. That's incredible. So that's... the deck's modeled out. You can see the nails in the, in the planks. Those are modeled yeah. out as well. Dang, dude. That is plus so many respect points in my book. I was like, you know, a wood texture on the ground and on the side. Just like, because I've used Blender a bit. And doing these planks on the side, trying to get this Dude, like perfect curve. Oh, it was it was it was a migraine for sure. Oh, I can't um, even imagine, dude. I can't even imagine. It said 600 and, plus hours at least on this. Yeah, so I started it in 2019. Um, I want to say around July 2019. Um, I scrapped the whole ship about two or three times, and I started yeah. over because I just wasn't happy with where it was going. And even on this final version there's a lot of things that i had to restart um the the deck you see is probably my third try um yeah, i restarted the great like i, love I restarted it. the planks on the sides a couple times like i bet you did there's no way that was a first try thing <laughs> so yeah 600 hours is a long ass time and you know i'm sure it does not seem like it looking up front that it, this would take that long but um i really wanted to model everything out i i placed a a premium on not using textures i wanted it to be really impressive yeah definitely so and the thing the most difficult part about making this was there was really no resources for someone looking to build an 18th century ship so i pretty much had to teach myself how to use blender how to make a sailing ship and how to fit everything together at the same time and that's primarily why it took so long to finish and I mean, at the end of the day, I'm really proud of it. Um, there's some things that I kind of regret not including, like not actually having the sails deployed. Um, yeah, it'd be cool if you could like make it a little interactive. So like maybe press a button over here and then the sails like drop down. Yeah, I can. So the nice thing about this ship, and it, it might not be hard to, it might be hard to tell. It's only a thousand parts. Nice. So this ship is welded together. I mean, I... I can technically script it and, you know, have it able to, like, move around. Um, I just don't know how to do it. I never really got into scripting. Hey, but I understand. I tried. It, it, it wasn't working out. Yeah, it's not for me, man. <laughs> it was I mean, not working out. I mostly... Good. I've So, I've been modeling for about 10 years now. All right. And, you know, that's just my comfort zone. 
Hey, at least you found one. Are you working on any new showcases or do you plan to make another one of any sort? Um, I'm working on a showcase right now. It's on my profile. It's called Castle Fairfax. Um, it's a recreation of a castle from one of my favorite games called uh, Fable 2. And I've got a good portion of it done, um, but it's still a work in progress. And All right. How long have you been working on that one? I've been working on it for a year. Um, how long I started it, to be on it at least another year, I want to say. <laughs> so, you know, going in and modeling things out by hand, it takes a lot of time. 100. And, you know, I've I've kind of started using textures a bit on my new showcase, but mostly I want to have things modeled out because it looks nicer, yeah, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I, I expect to take another year or so on it. But, I mean, it's going to look amazing when it's finished. All right, my guy. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing that one. Is there anything else you want to let us know about this boat? Or I guess it's a ship. A boat is kind of um, a disrespectful term to this big boy. <laughs> so, I don't know if you said this in the start of the video, but this ship is actually named the Odessa. I, I kind of has... it based on the name of the game. <laughs> yeah, it has a, a plaque on the, on the back of the ship. Nice. 1840. But, yeah, I mean... I'm just really happy with how this turned out, and I do appreciate your time today. 100% my guy. The goal is to bring a lot more light to the showcase community, because you guys spend an immaculate amount of time on builds, and there's just like, based on the visits, that's not like enough recognition, compared to like, I don't know, we could throw a simulator map together in 30 minutes and get millions of visits, so... Oh yeah. I, I definitely I mean, I definitely want to bring more light over here. Yeah, that's something that's been kind of disappointing. I mean, it. It doesn't stop me from doing what I love, but it's kind of hard to see some people just throw around some smooth terrain and stuff and they get a ton of visits. <coughs> Sorry. Well, to be fair, uh, it's it, the reason that the games do is because there's scripts, like people can actually play them. I think Yeah, that is that is true. Uh, I just don't, there's nothing to do, you know? You can kind of walk around and I think- uh, There's a special kind of niche. For sure, 100%. And I think making an interactive showcase is, it just hits like so much different than just a normal mm. showcase. So I'd say if you can make it so we could drop the sails and I don't know, maybe hop on like side boats that we could drive around in the water or something. I know you're not a scripter or anything, but that'd probably make the game a bit more enjoyable and just more people would want to do more exploring in it. Yeah, it's definitely something to look into. But it's definitely a cool concept. I'm hyped to see where you go with it, and I'm definitely excited to see your next showcase. But I want to wrap the... Oh, I was going to do a cannonball with you. <laughs> Dude, it's hard to stay on there with the, the ship rocking and stuff. Oh, man. But all right, man. Thank you so much for showing us around the showcase. You're welcome, man. I'm going to go ahead and hop on out of here. And definitely let us know, is there anything else you would like me to link in the description other than the build itself? You can link Castle Fairfax if you want. Castle Fairfax, is that your other one? Yeah, I'll send you the link to it. All right, sure thing, my guy. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up our showcase Sunday. Sunday? <laughs> our showcase Sunday on the bridge, Odessa. Pretty cool boat. I definitely couldn't build it. And when he told me that it wasn't a texture and they were actually individually modeled, that, that, that was pretty insane to me. But if you did enjoy this video and you want me to continue the showcase Sundays, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Later.